Hello, I'm Ellie. Welcome. We are gonna look at all of these cutie pies. Look at this. We have got so many Disney themed Lego micro dolls now. <laughs> it's so exciting because they're only introduced so recently. And when you look at them all lined up here together, we definitely have got they just cuteness just smashed all together. So this is definitely gonna be an episode of too much cute. We're gonna do some things with these. It got having seen them all together just made me think about the fact. We still have never seen a mini doll CMF series, so a collectible blind bag series for mini dolls. We have got, like, Unikitty got her own blind bags. I mean, why? <laughs> Mario, the, well, there are several series of blind bags, well, there will be, for, for Mario. How come we don't have any Lego doll CMF series yet? And the, 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 just, mm, Mm. So, I have been playing around with these. This has been so much fun. Making my own version of what I think we could, like, like I could do this so easily. So, have a look at Ariel. Ariel, this is Ariel in her pink dress. Looks totally like a nightgown, but it's so cute. We could just take this base, this mini doll base, and turn it into a completely different character by adding this already Lego hairpiece. And, I mean, I mean I, I've gone really pink with this. And a pink bow. And uh, a pink teddy bear. We're gonna have a pink teddy bear. So look, my new character I've just created out of a base of Ariel. Ariel, yeah, Ariel, which is uh, hold on, she's dropping over. We're gonna call her. She's falling over a lot. We definitely need a stand for these two for for my uh, for my version of a micro doll CMF series. Uh, so we're gonna call her Pinky Malinky. Actually, I think that's probably trademarked. But she is so pink. Maybe I could call her um. Eraser head because her head looks like one of those. It looks like an eraser. Maybe not. That's not very catchy. But anyway, look, look how easy it is. Come on, Lego. It's so easy. We could do this. We could totally do this. So, done it with Ariel. Let's do it with, with like as many of these Disney characters as we can. So, we'll get the beast out. And if we take the beast's head off, he's got like a really nice old fashioned outfit on. He could totally be Abraham Lincoln. So, we got. Look! <laughs> this is like a baby form of Abraham Lincoln. This just cracks me up. <laughs> so we've got a four score and we've got what got his iconic thingamy speech thing. Let's put him on this base plate here. And because they cannot, they can hold like barely anything. Let's make it appear as though he's holding it. So if I angle him, this is also dodgy, but <laughs> still doesn't stop it from being fun. If I put this forward facing stud here, then we can put that on there and angle it. It looks like he's holding it. See? Look, it's an optical illusion. So there, look, the beast was so quickly turned into Abraham Lincoln. Don't even need to make any new Lego parts. Who are we gonna play with next? Let's try, uh, let's try Elsa as her, as her, as her spirit form. So let's turn her into uh, a Wagnerian opera singer because I think that that's so cute. In fact, we can do a bit of mixing and matching here. So let's steal Ariel's face in her mermaid form, which has got her open mouth for singing. This is so perfect. We can just use, yeah, we can use the other head for, yes, look at that! And her, her outfit also looks so perfect too. I'm kind of going with a white theme as well. Every time I see this, I think of Bugs Bunny <laughs> in the, in the, yeah, in the opera episode. However, I shouldn't because I actually studied opera <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I always just think of Bugs Bunny. Let's make her some music <laughs> that goes with this. This is the music from the big Frozen castle, which is perfect because we've used a Frozen character base, so a bit of an Easter egg there. We'll build up a music stand. We can pop this over here. And once again, she doesn't need to be holding anything in her hands because she's got her accessory built next to her. Look at that! So simple! We've gone from Elsa. <gasps> yeah, nice. Get to the tiniest, cutest Wagnerian opera singer you've ever seen. All right, Ariel in her mermaid form. Oh, wow. Okay, so what can we do? Let's just go crazy. Let's uh, let's put, let's match the colors. So I'm going with the purple on the top and her teal here. Why did I take her head off? Let, let's not do that. So she can have uh, like a big performing headdress, but let's not limit her options. Let's put her on a watery stand because of course she's got to be mermaid, but she's also a performing mermaid with a big feathery headdress and she's got wings so you know she's like a hybrid I'm just making this all up because it looks so blinking cute and I mean the colors all go nicely <laughs> including actually let's let's put a starfish in to match the coral color on the wings so she is a fairy mermaid yeah brand new mythological creature which we have just created she looks fine right okay so we <laughs> oh my gosh I'm going a little bit nuts let's try okay so Anna she's got a white dress <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh let's try her with uh with the um, the shepherdess like the china shepherdess from the toy stories headdress 
Look, oh, sorry, her hair, which looks really weird on a minifigure and also on a mini doll. It looks so just so good on a micro doll. So she's gonna be like Mary Mary, quite contrary, no wrong one. Mary had a little lamb, let's go with that. She's got a hook, which is absurdly big, which I think just adds to the whole ridiculous cuteness of this idea of this collection. So how the heck are we gonna do this? Let's see. She's got a lamb too, which is also almost as big as her. <laughs> so perfect. Put her on a light yellow base plate, and then I have to, cause she cannot, she can't possibly hold that crook. So I'll put it in a flower. It, now it just looks like it's kind of coming out of her head. I don't know how to do this. Can I put the lamb over here? Maybe, I mean, that, that's okay. That looks all right. <laughs> I wonder if I can rejigger this a little bit. Move this around so it looks a bit like she's holding the crook. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I don't know, I don't have too many options on these quarter pie base plate pieces things. I don't know, maybe like that. That'll do, that's perfect. <laughs> no, let's put it back there. <laughs> I'm, never, I'm never content. That looks all right, that's good. We've got everybody on the base plate now. That's so cute. So we've got Mary Had a Little Lamb. Ah, uh -huh. out of Anna, out of the Anna micro doll. This is working so well. Right, next. It's just, it's gonna get absurd though. So Cinderella, she's all blue. Let's stick with the blue theme. Oh, and put some absolutely nutso hair on her. Let's put on Sweet Mayhem's hair from the Lego movie too. Yes, that is just crazy. Let's put on oh, an ice crown because it looks so good with the pigtails. It just works so really, really nicely. And she's gonna have, um. A, a, a mythical blue polar bear to go with this too and I'm going to build her an ice mountain to stand on the top of it. This reminds me there is some princess or queen or something in some sort of mythology. She was trapped inside a frozen mountain, an ice mountain or something. I can't, I can't remember it. Oh, I, I, I wish I could. This was all before Frozen. I think it was Russian maybe. I don't know. But anyway, we have now created a completely new character out of the Cinderella mini doll. How easy is this? Right, next up, Tiana. Let's do this. Okay, so she has got a green leafy outfit, which, oh no, yeah. Oh no, yeah, nah, yeah. We're gonna make her Tinkerbell? Yes, cause she's got the perfect outfit. It's green, it's leafy. So put on some Tinkerbell wings, but I'm gonna need a stand cause she's gonna fall over instantly. So let's put her on some grassy, so grassy knoll, and we'll pop her right in the middle. Wings on, head on, and where is, where's my Tinkerbell hair from the minifigure? This looks so much better on doll form, like Lego doll form, and especially as a micro doll, because Tinkerbell's tiny. And she should have a wand, but she cannot hold it. She cannot hold it, so let's put some, yeah, a little bit of foliage down here, and then I can stick it into a hole on our green leafery. <laughs> leafy greenery, that's <laughs> better. Uh, and then that can kind of appear as though it's poking her in the eye. No, as though it's actually, as, as though she's holding it kind of, sort of, maybe if you suspend your disbelief a bit. Look at that, we just made a Tinkerbell out of, out of Tiana. I think Tiana would be okay with that. Oh, okay, right, okay. So Kristoff, Kristoff, oh, doing, oh, oh, he's brown on the bottom. Let's try one of the Lego costumes for Kristoff. This is just adorable. The cute factor here is just making me insane. <laughs> oh, how are you guys going? Let's see, so we'll put a tree trunk on him. How perfect is that? Look with his enormous brown eyes. I could put, okay, if I put him on a brown plate and make a little, maybe a tree trunk or a tree, like a branch, a cut off branch as his accessory. Would that look too weird? <laughs> Let's see, I'll pop that next to him. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, oh, and he can have a little bird perched on the top. Where's my tiny birds? Oh my goodness. <gasps> That's, oh wow. I think maybe we could put a poop up there, bird poop. No, let's just leave it as it is. <laughs> so perfect. Right, Kristoff is now a tree trunk. Okay, right, right, okay. Uh, Mulan, Mulan. Whoa, what do we do here? She's got such a, she's got an outfit which is kind of hard to use in a in a generic fashion. So maybe if I put on, a, oh, this headdress, like an Aztec-y kind of headdress. So she could be, an Aztecan sun goddess or something like that. And maybe I could put some gold dangles. Yeah, I reckon the gold dangles will go on there. We'll put another one on the other side. Oh no, hold on, that dangles mangled. It's a mangled dangled. Hold on, it's a mangled dangled. It's gonna, I'll go and get another one. <laughs> that one's mangled. Right, ah, I do love what things rhyme. So we've got an unmangled dangle for the other side. That kind of, it's not straight, there we go. 
Now what else can we do? That looks fantastic just by itself. Maybe I could put, no, wings, sun wings, because these, like, the gods of these sort of, uh, of, of these sort of cultures had all sorts of attributes. So this, she's going to be a winged sun goddess, and she's going to have, we'll put her on this base plate. Green's perfect because it just matches her dress. She's going to have a lion, tiger, <laughs> tiger, because it's, 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 it's also an orangey gold. Oh, I love it. So she's some sort of ancient Mesopotamian goddess, like Mayan or Aztecian. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get these wings to sit properly. They kind of sit properly. Don't tell her that they're not sitting properly because otherwise, yeah, you'll have to be sacrificed to her god. So, all right, well, she is the god. You'll be need to, no, no, okay, we're good. it's getting pretty dark now. So we've done that with Mulan. Oh, but there's the other version of Mulan too. So let's do Mulan Mark II as a micro doll. So we'll do the warrior version of Mulan. If we take her hair off, she can, oh no, yes, yes, I'm no yesing again. It's she, Jack Sparrow. Let's do her as the pirate Jack Sparrow. How cute! <laughs> it's the tiniest version of Jack Sparrow. Oh, so let's get the funkiest, biggest, ridiculous looking sword that I can find. Yeah, this one, it's got like notches out of it. It's crazy. I mean, no, <laughs> no, no self-respecting pirate would be seen with that. So that's really perfect for Jack Sparrow. So, and this works well too, because Jack Sparrow is a Disney character. That works okay. Uh, let's put a hook here and then I can angle the sword. So it kind of looks as though it's being held kind of, sort of, maybe a little bit if you imagine stuff. And of course we need uh, an alcohol bottle. This one has got, <laughs> this one's got, this one has, yeah, it's, it's empty. It's got a note in it. Sorry about that, Jack. So two different versions of Mulan, completely different stories. Oh. I will just reiterate here, Lego, that it is really easy to do this with existing Lego pieces. Just do it. Right, Belle. Okay, so Belle. She's yellow. Let's stick with a the yellow theme. Because, oh, hold on, we've already done a yellow theme. No, yes, yeah, kind of. All right, so let's use another one of the Lego costumes because they just look so, like, cuteness overload the giraffe it i think the colors will match really nicely look at that and her brown eyes go well with the little giraffe antennae <laughs> what are the bits on the top of the giraffe head i don't know what they're called and one of the few things that mini dolls can hold are these leaves so that's perfect for the giraffe uh, that's just <laughs> so much better than the minifigure version oh all right so we'll put her on a base stand so that she's perfectly ready and she doesn't fall over because they're re she's really top heavy now so bell is now Perfectly cute giraffe. Oh my gosh. Okay, next, 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 next. Who, we, who have we missed? Who haven't we done? I don't know. Let's bring in one of the one characters I didn't have out here. So I don't actually have a mini doll for Queen Aduna. Uh, but we could pretend that this is Rapunzel uh, because they're purple. And once we take the hair off, we're not going to know anything better. But I mean, why don't we have a micro doll of Rapunzel yet? Why? That's absurd. Right, so let's put purple on here, another costume. She's going to be a crayon. Purple crayon. <laughs> she looks worried about it. You should be. Let's put her on a plate here and I'll need to have a jumper stud, I think, to sit her up just a little bit higher. That's so cute. And if I give her the accessory that actually came with the minifigure that wore this costume, the actual drawing in crayon form, and I can just wedge it in here between her hand, I think, and the costume. Look at that. It's as though she's holding it. Like a bought one. It's so, so Oh my god, they're so cute. Are you with me on this? <laughs> they really, they, this really is the cutest way to Lego. Right, next up, we do not have a micro doll of Aurora, of Sleeping Beauty. So if I grab another one of the Ariel, because we have two of these Ariels, uh, and if I use Elsa's head, so we've got pink, and I, I mean the eye colors are entirely wrong, but we're just gonna have to pretend because Lego hasn't done this. She does have purple eyeshadow, so we'll just pretend that's purple eyes, right? And we'll put a pink flower head on, because I think I'm just going a bit nutso with these costumes now, but they're just crazy, and she just falls flat forwards. <laughs> and she can hold a pink flower too, which is nice. 
and I reckon that I can make, oh, that's, that, <laughs> she's flipping around. Oh no, okay, so I'll put, <laughs> she tumbles over. Let's make her, a, let's make her a stand so she can have some green foliage too and some more green leaves and she's like a proper little, she's a flower, she's a lonely little petunia in a petunia patch, not in an onion patch. So she's gonna have flowers in her flower patch. She's the biggest one of them all, the most beautiful one of them all. Look how easy that is. I'm just gonna pretend that that was Sleeping Beauty even though it's not and we'll just pretend who else have we got uh oh this is a perfect opportunity to do this this has like got nothing to do with anything but the bald cap like a tiny cute old man let's do it look at that we've just made a granddad micro doll <laughs> <laughs> should we have maybe yes we definitely should have so let's give him uh, some some grandma hair too so maybe I could use another form of Elsa here because you know she's that's, that's so so cute oh my goodness oh no I've died <laughs> that's so cute let's give them a puppy have a puppy oh right oh, I don't even know where I'm going with this but it was just too good an opportunity to make tiny cute old oh, old folk oh the grandies so if we I wonder if I can fit them both on it's gonna be snug let's go their hair is clashing it's a this <laughs> is a bit cozy up here in the head area. Let's see if I can put now nah, the pup, maybe the puppy on the other side. <laughs> this is so adorable. But I'll pop a stud in here so we can just try and fit them in a little bit less snugly. And now, now Granddad looks a little bit taller, which is you know not always the way, but we're just gonna go with that. <laughs> oh, that's really, 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 oh, so cute. I'm still trying to just jig them around so that they fit properly. Right, so we have made a lovely grandparent couple. So I, I think we've run out. Let's take out all of the big people, <laughs> the, the mini doll big people. Oh, hold on. I forgot Prince Eric, Ariel's prince. Oh, okay, let's go with, okay, let's make this insane because it's the last one. So uh, we're going to go with the gray and use another one of the costumes because just can't, we just need to costume the world. And <laughs> if everyone wore costumes, we'd all be much happier, I think. Let's give him a, a baby elephant because he's an elephant and... <laughs> then let's bring in the big elephant. Let's make an elephant stack. A stack of elephants, if you will. Let's put this up here. And now we've got a stack of elephants. I don't even know where on earth I'm going with this, but it's just too good not to do. <laughs> so Prince Eric is now a stack of elephants. Where did this go? <laughs> anyway, right. Okay, so I can't, I mean, this is just a rabbit hole. And if I go any further down, it's just going to go absolutely nuts. It's going to be, I think we've done enough. So I think I have proved absolutely with no doubt that it would be so easy to make a CMF series, a blind bag series of these micro dolls or the mini dolls. Come on. See how cute they look. <laughs> so yeah. This was too much cute. Absolutely. My head's my head hurts from too much cute. It's like I've eaten too much sugar and I now have a cute headache. <laughs> I'm gonna lie down with a cup of tea. Alright, I will see you with another video very, very soon. Have fun making your micro dolls ridiculously cute too. I'm really losing it now. <laughs> see ya.